yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Another week in the house. Your boy is in the house with the latest A-list. My top five teams in the National Football League Let's after go. week 13. Let's get to it. Give me number five right here on the list, please. Give it to me right now. What the hell is the delay? I want it. It's the Patriots, okay? The New England Patriots, excuse me, leaders in the AFC East, rookie quarterback, elite defense, big time running game as well, the best coaching in the sport of football. That's why they on the top five list, a, a, a number one seed in the AFC as we're speaking right now. We gonna roll with that. Let's go to number four on the list, Keyshawn. Look at this right here, the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, I put them up there. Why? Because they handled their business, albeit it was against the Washington football team. They secured in position in the NFC least. They're one of the top three teams, four teams in the National Football League right now. We gotta give credit where credit is due, even though Dak Prescott is going to get better and needs to get better. They ain't top three, though. Let's go to top three. Number three on the list, please. Give it to me. The Kansas City Chiefs. Why? Because the offense is beginning to percolate a little bit more, albeit against a Las Vegas Raiders team that is absolutely done. You still got Patrick Mahomes. You still got Tyree Kill. You still got Travis Kelsey, along with a bevy of other supplementary weapons that show up in the defense has elevated its level of play. We got to give credit where credit is due. Limited their last three opponents to just nine points. Let's go to number two on our list, please. Give it to me right now. It's the reigning defending Super Bowl champion, Tampa, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Why? Because Tom Brady looks like that dude. That's why. Because Gronk is back in the house looking like that dude. That's why. Because Mike Evans is trying to tell us, Keisha, he's going to be a Hall of Fame wide receiver one day. Chris Godwin is handling his business. Leonard Fournette is running the football effectively. And that defense, excuse me. That defense showed up. I'm going to give love where it's due. I just can't give them the number one spot because I got to give it to this man right here, the Green Bay Packers, because he's a bad man. Whoa! This Aaron Rodgers we talking about. You see Devontae Adams in the show that he's putting on. Okay, Valdez Scantlin, Lazard, and the rest of the crew. They're there. I didn't like what I was seeing from their defense for a few moments, but then they amped it up on Chicago. Special teams got to improve a little bit too. But Aaron Rodgers is so spectacular, so sensational, so electrifying that if there's any team right now that is rolling, it is the Green Bay Packers. That's my top five list. The Packers, the Buccaneers, the Chiefs, the Cowboys, and the Patriots. I took Arizona out of that list. Why? Because you can't go against the Rams and lose. And they don't even have Jalen Ramsey or Higby. I had to take you out of that. And that's where I'm at with it. What's up? What's I'm, up? I'm just going to, I'm going to slowly but surely. Don't lock the board. Don't lock the board. Let I'm just going to slowly but surely say, <laughs> Arizona Cardinals ain't up there when you no. were just talking about that they was a so, top team in the NFC. They, they will be. They will be in the oh, the list is fluid. Okay. The list okay. is fluid. You just he, the list is You fluid. see what he do? This you is terrible. You see how he switch up on his list man? is fluid. He makes no sense. Oh. Jeff makes no sense. Good. Here we go terrible. again. Here we go again. Y'all hating. Y'all hating. The list is fluid. We I don't wait. I don't mind the list. I think the list look, it, as far as these top 5 teams go, Jeff, these are probably the top five teams right now in the NFL. Okay. Right now, right? Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now, I think they probably are. That don't mean it's going to be that way in two weeks, Jeff. Keyshawn. Nope. But right now. But right I just, now. but I just, these three teams that I talked about, the Packers, the Buccaneers, and the Cowboys are in your top five. So? And you tried to murder me no, about the Arizona I'm talking Cardinals. about come playoff time. But right now, Keyshawn, right now. Look, right now, you rocking this. In three weeks, you're going to be rocking a suit. Hell, <laughs> you might buy a three-piece come playoff time. That's right now. They ain't got no. nothing to do with three weeks from now. No. Jeff? No. Listen, first of all, if you, the, the, the Chiefs and the Cowboys being above the Patriots is not – if the Patriots played tomorrow – you would have them favored over both of those teams. The Cowboys should not be on the list. Arizona should stay up at the list. The Cowboys do not need to be on the list. They're not playing well to be on the list. I know that Arizona got beat yesterday, but you are biased. You are completely biased in this one. 
The Cowboys do not need to be on that thing. And when you're talking about the Patriots not being above the Chiefs, and by the way, I'd flip the Buccaneers and the Packers, but I'll let it slide because they both got they both got two Hall of Famers who are leading them. But the other ones, no, sir. Absolutely not. Cowboys can't be up there after that performance against Washington football team offensively. It gives me great concern. They got to figure on. this thing out. Hold on. We got a guy on Michael Parsons that's making noise about potentially being the defensive player of the year. We see Diggs still doing his thing. Randy Gregory is back in the lineup wreaking havoc, okay? Lawrence is back as well. What I'm saying to you is this. The Dallas Cowboys definitely had a blah, blah week when it came to the offensive side of the ball, but they did elevate their level of defensive play, and they still got the division league, and they're coming off a win, and Arizona lost to a team without a huge pivotal piece this, in their secondary. And we, they no, still I, lost. I, I agree with that? Jeff, though. Really? I, I honestly think that the Patriots should slide in front of the Cowboys some. I don't mind the Chiefs being at three because I think the Chiefs hold playing. It. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You and Jeff got on me a couple of weeks ago. About what? A couple of weeks ago when I sat up there and had the Patriots ahead of the Cowboys. Y'all said they, the Cowboys beat them. That's what y'all said. It's now, fluid. Now, oh, oh, really? It's no. fluid. No. That's what you no. said. Y'all held it against me, though. Hey, we let me tell you. Oh, let me I tell just you. Said let me these say are top this. five teams. Let me tell you what it is. The, Stephen A. loves to put the Cowboys up on that list because it's sabotage. It ain't fluid. Yeah. It's sabotage. You can knock he them down when you need to. Them yeah. And then chop them down. That's Stephen <laughs> A's game, bro. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm keen to it. I see what he's doing. Me, they me shouldn't be up that. there. So you got a nice never little, that. you got a nice little A minus based never on that. Never that. Okay. You're all the right. The only thing I have to say is if the Hall of Famer, the playmaker Michael Irvin is watching, he is so upset last night because we opened the show and you argued that this team, the Dallas Cowboys, should not feel good after the win because yep. it was against pathetic Washington. Right. And now today. <laughs> so what? So what? So what? The point is, I, was, listen, I had them higher last week. That's number yeah. one. Number two, the hell with what Michael Irvin has to say, okay? <laughs> Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.